Sunday Night Baseball, presented by Taco Bell on ESPN. Five years from today, where do you envision Penn State football being? I've committed to Penn State. Uh, I'm not a genie. I'm not going to sit here and, and, and predict where we're going to be in five years. We're going to fight. Uh, we're going to compete. We're going to do the best job we can for Penn State. We expect our fans to be in. We, ex we expect our lettermen to jump in. Uh, don't dip the toe in. Jump in and get behind us, support us, help us, and support these players that are there right now working extremely hard to field a very competitive 2012 team. Very tough situation for head coach uh, Bill O'Brien. Skip, I'll start with you. Do you have any sympathy uh, for him in this situation? Stephen A., I have huge sympathy right now for Bill O'Brien. I could be wrong about this, but I think he had absolutely no idea that Penn State could be facing the equivalent of a death penalty, because I certainly didn't see that coming. I'm not sure anybody really saw that coming before the free report. So just as I have sympathy for all the innocent bystanders at Penn State who had absolutely nothing to do with the cover-up and the scandal, and Bill O'Brien certainly had absolutely zero to do with any of that, being a Brown graduate, had no connection to Penn State. I feel sorry for a man who left coaching Tom Brady on a Super Bowl team, left this year's Super Bowl favorite, I think they're the preseason favorite, New England, and took on what he thought was Penn State. And I greatly admire his attitude. He signed on, and by golly, he's going to stay on. He's going to fight. And he's asking everybody connected to Penn State to fight, and they're going to have to recruit some walk-ons and and their budget's going to be slashed, and it's going to be a long, hard, uphill struggle. He's going to, we'll get to find out if he can coach, because he's, he's going to be coaching a short stick at Penn State. They're probably going to be the doormat of the Big Ten. So do, do I feel for him? Yeah, I do. I, I have a lot of sympathy for Bill O'Brien right now. <sighs> I'm not going to say I don't have any sympathy. I think that would be cruel. It would be irresponsible. Uh, would it be it would, true? It wouldn't be true. Okay. Because it wouldn't be an accurate reflection of how I feel. I understand those that feel sorry for him. My heart goes out to him and those kids because they're innocent in all of this. They had nothing to do with this. I totally get that part. What I would ask those who feel that way, however, is to imagine how those kids felt who were molested. And I would ask them to ask themselves when they look in the mirror at night, what matters more? Bill O'Brien is still getting a paycheck. He's still a football coach. He still has kids that he can coach on Saturday afternoon. And even though the road to recovery is going to be incredibly tough. Impossibly tough. In incredibly tough, if not impossibly tough. Let's take into account what he knew before he took the job. Did he know that the death penalty, something tantamount to a death penalty was going to come down? No. No. Could he summarily dismiss it as a possibility? No. Because the Sandusky revelations came out, what was that, November? Bill O'Brien got hired January 7th. No, it, it was I, out there, but nobody knew the time out, time out, time out. Here's how, here's, here's yeah. where you and I part ways. When we say no one knew the magnitude, when Bill O'Brien took the job January 7th, we knew that Joe Paterno was gone because he was pushed out. Remember, right on this show, he, will, he in November, he was saying that I'll leave at the end of the season. He was. And we were like, no, that's not good enough to leave now. Yep. We also knew that the athletic director and the vice president were, were being charged with perjury. Okay? We also knew that the president was on his way out because of, you know, of, of his yep. alleged involvement right. in the cover-up. Bill O'Brien took the job knowing that. So, if you took the job knowing all of that, and then you also have any inkling about what the NCAA is all about, I'm sorry, we couldn't rule out anything. You took the job. And not only did you take the job, you took the job when you had a job. A good job. A good job. 
You 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 want you want coaching the bad news bears? You you want asked you want I mean you want asked to be in you you want living in football purgatory? Yeah. You were coaching the New England Patriots. You were the offensive coordinator directly under Bill Belichick. Mm -hmm. You were the man that we saw on the sidelines going toe to toe, face to face with Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. That was you. And you leave all of that to walk into this? So when you talk about feeling sorry, on its surface, yes, I feel sorry because I don't wish what happens, what has now happened to him and the kids and anybody that's innocent in all of this associated with Penn State's football program, I don't wish this on them. But what I'm trying to say is that considering everything that I just lined out for you, coupling that with the egregious, disgusting, vile acts that took place under the watch of that football program mm. and what they allowed to happen. I'm sorry. I, I don't... Listen, he was just over there. So wait, are you saying that, that you blame Bill O'Brien for even associating with Penn State by taking I, I, the job? Where did get that from? I'm not saying I blame. Blame is a strong word. I don't mean it that way. What I'm trying to say to him is that, what I'm trying to say to you is, I'm not sitting back here scratching my head, feeling empathy and sympathy for a man that walked into this situation to okay. some degree knowingly. To some degree knowingly, no matter what you can't predict, Skip, granted, we can't predict, we could not have predicted that the NCAA will come down right. like this. Right. But we knew, knowing their history, we know what the NCAA, they were going to do something. Well, you, you speak for yourself because I did not. I didn't say, you didn't think they would do nothing? Heck no, I nothing. didn't. Well, nothing. I've been arguing with you for three days about nothing. it. This nothing. is where you and I really part ways because all that Bill O'Brien really knew for a fact was that our criminal justice system was doing what it should have done. I'm not talking about, it, I need clarity on this. I understand that you didn't believe the NCAA should do anything. Are you telling me, in all the years you have been a reporter, as big as you are on college football, yeah. are you trying to tell Zero. me that you believed that yeah. the NCAA would do nothing? Yeah, oh, many, yeah. many analysts, so, many analysts, you know former you know, infractions. They, 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 you, had, had, you had your head in the sand. Okay, well, hmm. many of them, I knew that. A lot of, was do something. Lot of big experts I, 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 have been quoted, oh, even please, the last week, as saying, and, there's no way, there's and, no rule, no rule. Was Can I ask you a question? Have I not sat here for you with you for months saying I'm waiting for the NCAA to do okay. something? Have I not done that? Okay, that's because I'm sitting, I'm sitting there, I'm like, not me. No, there's no, it's automatic. Hey, well, there's no talk and pray report. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Hold sure, on. Sure. Okay. Sure. So, so the criminal justice system was meeting out punishment right on time. Mm. And Sandusky, he's gone for good. And all these Penn State administrators, they're, 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 they're going up the river, man. I, think, I mean, that's, okay? I think that's laughable. I think it's laughable that you say that because you act like Joe Paterno, the athletic director, the VP, and the president were the only people. There is no way on earth okay. that more people didn't know. I'm telling you where to smoke this fire, and that's what's going on okay, here. But the point was the, the, the principals, the perpetrators were being punished by the court of law the way they should have. I did not see the NCAA coming. It's like people like you screaming, well, you, you got to do something, do something. And the NCAA got shamed into for PR purposes saying, okay, we got to do something. What can we do? Yeah, absolutely we, right. They should have did something. Are you kidding me? Program written all over okay, so it. bottom line, did Bill O'Brien know that Penn State was going to commission a free report? They were going to pay for it. And the NCAA was going to turn right around and use Penn State's commission report to send Penn State completely up the river. Is he a genie? How would he have known that? That's what just Bill, happened. Bill O'Brien knew when he took the He job knew what he was getting himself into. That children had been a molest. I'm not okay. accusing him. Listen to me. Here's a point. He knew how egregious this was. He definitely did. He knew this was unprecedented. And it was being dealt with. And not, not, yeah, but come on now. We're let's let's start blaming firefighters I'm not for, for getting burnt the would be when they go to work. Hard. Let's just, let's just start doing that. No way, especially if you have a job like the New England Is it necessary to state the obvious? no way that you sit there and you leave a job like that to walk into this okay, line. So he made a mistake. Absolutely. Duh. Absolutely. That's an understatement. Absolutely. I don't think he made a mistake 
under the conditions that he took the job, he took it for all the right reasons. But I'm not saying that. But you have to admit, now, look back. what his position was with the Patriots, surely he could have gotten a job without this much drama attached to it. I don't think he thought there was. This, he thought it was just about done. That the, what? But then, but then you know Justice what? had been served. Then you know what? In no. that respect, in that only respect, okay. he was asleep. Okay. Because clearly, clearly, I mean, I, there's no way. You got child molestation, you got an NCI defensive coordinator, you got an oh, iconic no, coach. Man. Come on. No, 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 no. We know you no. regurgitate and repeat all the time. I know. Not that. You, you say, say it like, like every five seconds. seconds. That's right. I think this guy just want to argue. Because that's what it is. Are you kidding? Oh, my God. Now I'm getting mad. By the criminal justice no, system of the United States. They ain't finished, and I'm glad they're not. Well, I'm telling you. That's this right. The start of it, and I want more hands to roll. Preach. Me gun, trust me. Well, you oh, I can't wait. I want the program burned to the ground. That's basically you know what? what you got. It's, it's not about the program being burned to the ground. Play somewhere else. That's my preference. Well, that's my preference. I don't think Penn State deserves to have football. Well, they might as well be ready. playing intramural football. Uh, really? Really? Every Saturday afternoon, they'll yeah. be playing against a Big Ten team. Yeah. 80 to 100,000 people will be filling their arenas. They'll get over it. Uh, well, well, Penn State They're is not, not, have a game not the, the, the only program. program. Don't you sleep over there? <laughs> They're not the only football team that has to deal uh, with trying to overcome some kind of sanctions. Uh, the New Orleans Saints, they're also in that position because of Bounty Gate.